Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, uh, we're finishing up the gate today, hopefully. Um, yeah, so we've got some more metal laid out. Uh, TJ's burning in the last couple of welds on the hinges. It is much colder today than it was last time we were working on this. Yeah, you can see my breath and everything. So, you know, winter is not uh, ready to give up, but we will push through and do this. So, what I'm doing right now is making a sanding block. I found a scrap four by four. Basically gonna take this piece of sandpaper, staple, staple, and this will be a sanding block. What we're gonna do with that is get rid of all the flash rust. So if you look, all of this stuff here, it's just flash rust. Like it basically wipes off with my hand, but we wanna get as much of that off before we paint it as possible. So that way the paint sticks and it won't eat through as uh, the gate sits there. So it'll just make the gate last a little longer. So building two sanding blocks because we have two children and uh, <laughs> We're gonna do that, so yeah, check it out. Any color? Whoa, what just happened? That's not supposed to happen. My staples exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Lay that down. Lay you down. Cool. Can you reach out okay? Yeah. Is that a comfy spot to wall? Yeah. Does it matter? No. <laughs> oh, I'll be okay. I was just curious about the level of discomfort you would be experiencing. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, I just need to tack it in place for right now. We got the frame mostly done. Just driving our lines to cut our nice big long cross brace, which we had just enough metal to make it all. We had to weld one of these together, two scrap pieces together, weld it poorly together <laughs> so that we could get this full, this full thing. But yeah, so we're almost done with this gate. All right, so the moment of truth. Yeah. This first gate is on. All right, this is bottom. This is the moment of truth. Here, walk that in a little. All right, so test the, the first part went well. First part went well. Now let's see. Okay, here we go. So curious. Please, 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 please. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so what we need to do is probably add spacers to the top of that one. And that'll get us there. I think washers will do. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Dang, that's solid. Like, well, it's just got the little skip welds on there, so it's gonna... Can I see? Look at that, it doesn't, it doesn't sag at all. No, it doesn't. Dude, that sucker is solid. Yeah, that is an option. Just skip weld it, or pop those skip welds off and drop it. What do you think? Just a smidge. I feel like if we do washers, I feel like that's going to be quite a bit of washers because I think you know, we need at least a quarter inch. At least a quarter inch. You think? So yeah, let's just take, I think you're right. Let's just pop that weld off. Yeah. Move it over a quarter inch and go from there. Do you think we'll need to reset the bottom one to get the angle right? No, I think there's enough play the in, the, in how those fit and they'll wear over time. All right. Um, and then grease will fill in the gaps, yeah. which is fine. All right, so what we're gonna do now, 
is take this wire wheel and clean up all the flash rust and any rust rust and kind of basically just clean the surface. Then we're gonna wipe the whole thing down with acetone. And then we are going to, just to remove any oil or anything, and then we're going to uh, primer it and then take it down and hang it. Man, the combination of these two, the sanding and the acetone, and that really cleans it up. Magic of editing, it's done. Instantly. So I think what we're gonna do is actually go down and mount the arms to these tonight because otherwise they'll be swinging in the wind um, unless we were to like tie them together but the, the paint is still tacky tying them together would probably put wear marks on the paint until tomorrow. And so instead of having them swing in the wind, I think we're gonna hook up the arms and just attach them so they're closed, basically. Does that look even to you? Straight up and down? Ish? Very close, if not right on. Perfect. And that's it. Those go like that. And I mean, we could do four, but considering each one of these anchor points is designed to hold 1600 pounds when drilled in properly like it is right now, I don't think we're going to be anywhere near that. Yeah, it's on there. That was interesting. So that was really interesting because, here's the thing, you notice, this hole was done in the middle of a lift. Right? So that hole there was actually, the drill was having almost a hard time getting through it. And it's having a harder time getting through it than it does with the concrete. So this stuff is harder, but I hit the, this one is right at a lift line and it felt, I could feel the difference in it. So I'm curious to see how it holds. Either way, this is not holding a ton of weight, so I'm not super worried about it, but I just found that, uh, Interesting with rammed earth. Oops. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's not going to compromise the structural integrity or anything. And even if it does, it's just a gate. Yeah, see that? It just went in. Yeah, there we go. That's the lift line. But. It seemed to drill in just fine. <laughs> Except for the fact that it's a little crooked. That's probably because the drill slipped off after, uh, once I started drilling this one, the drill kind of moved, but it's okay because there's enough adjustment in these gate parts that I think it'll be fine. We're there. Close right. it, see if it'll close. Haley, I'll grab that gate, close it. Here's the moment of truth, Here's folks. the moment of truth. 
see if we're impish or admirable. Or admirable. Hey! That'll do, pig. Look at That'll that. do! Well done, boys. High five. You meant to be this gap here, right? We'll yeah, we're gonna put wood there. <laughs> the metal was not conducive for making that gap any smaller. <laughs> All right, so the uh, arm controls are installed there in the open position. Unfortunately, that's how you have to set them up. And I don't think we have time to set up all the electronics to close them, but at least they won't be swinging in the wind. But the arms are in, and we will come back and do the solar panels and the control box and all that stuff probably tomorrow or maybe next week. I don't know, depending on what uh, the days look like. So we just finished hooking up all the electronics for the gate. It was a basic, you know, gate install. It was pretty simple and easy. We went with the ghost control system, hashtag not sponsored. Um, we just, uh, I did some research and it seemed like the best system for what we are trying to do here. So without further ado, check this out. When I do this, our gate's open. How cool is that? So legit. I'm just really excited, you guys. Yeah, here, come here. I'll show you this. So there's our ghost control system with solar panel and battery box and everything is sort of just self contained and runs off of solar. So the solar panel, that's the warning thing that tells you it's closing so you don't get caught in the gate and get crushed to death. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the solar panel basically, uh, it'll get about, mm, six hours of sun a day, which I think will be enough for the batteries. They're not used a ton, um, but there's two batteries in there. Solar panel charges them. That's the control system, all of that. And yeah, this worked really, really well, you guys. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Thanks for joining our adventure. <laughs>